Fireworks will soon light up the night sky over many cities in central Indiana, and that includes Carmel, where residents and visitors will be treated to not one, but two fireworks displays. And by the way, that's not all. Joining me with what else this year's Carmel Fest has to offer is organizers Jeff Waro. Jeff, welcome back this morning. Good to see you. Great to see you as well. Thanks for having me. Last year, I had an opportunity to be in the parade we with Jim and Angela. You. That was so much yeah. fun. And just to see so many people out there being a part of this. Let's talk about this Carmel Fest. This is a two-day event. It really is. And last year, we were a little tepid coming out of COVID. Right. So this year, you're going to see even more explosions and fun and fireworks and and two stages, everything going on, all the way from Civic Square north to the Palladium and everything in between. That's fantastic. Fireworks on the first night, will they be on the second night? That's right. We actually have two shows on the first night. We'll okay. be uh, at our east border at Badger Park at about 126 in Hazeldale, and then over on the west side at the exact same time at West Park, over on the west border, synchronized to an atomic clock. Uh, to music on 91.3 FM and then of course on the 4th we'll have our big finale show. So incredible just to see all of the people from what I remember out there with the American flag. Yeah. Being, it's just a family friendly event. Talk about the Carmel Fest Parade on Monday. Yeah, 1030 we step off okay. and we will have lots of celebrities. Some of your folks will be there. Right. Uh, but band, marching bands, floats, uh, lots of our groups like the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. Uh, I think you have some video. You just see people that are lining the parade route. Uh, route. Of course, it's always a big kind of fun thing in Carmel that people will put out their chairs days in yeah. advance <laughs> and they'll be there when they show up for the 4th of July parade. But huge crowd, about 15,000 people. And because of the number of people, what do spectators need to know? Well, bring water. We'd like to keep you hydrated. We're expecting a, a beautiful day for the parade, but to, do bring water. And uh, be courteous of those around you. Keep your children behind the white candy yeah. line. We have a candy line that we'll lay down the night before, which is a chalk line throughout the entire route. Please keep your children behind because we don't want anyone to get hurt, but the kids will leave there with bags full of candy. Yes, they will. It'll be like Halloween. <laughs> it, on steroids. <laughs> what happens on Sunday? Because the festivities begin then, too. That's right. So we open at 1 o'clock on Sunday. We'll go all, all night uh, with the finish of uh, fireworks at 9.45 p.m. Then we start on the 4th at 10.30 uh, a.m., go all the way until fireworks that day at, at uh, 9.45 p.m. Two stages this year. One thing that I thought was really cool from what I witnessed last year was the, the, the zoo and the Carmel Fest marketplace, which was yeah, really cool. Exactly. Now, we're expanding that this year. As you recall from last year, that was all up by the Palladium. Correct. So there was a lot going on. So now we're giving it its own venue for both of those. We'll have separate venues. So marketplace will be around the fountain and the kids zone with the zoo and the rides and the jumping houses and all that will be south of City Hall. Well, you and your wife have been involved with Carmel Fest for quite a long time, and you're the Grand Marshals. How cool is that? We are. 30 years, uh, and what an experience. We've loved every year uh, helping Carmel put on its 4th of July celebration because it's so important. And you both do a fantastic job. Thank you. So thank, thank you, you for putting on such a special show for such an incredible day. Well, we appreciate you participating and all of your support. Jeff Wuerl the organizer of Carmel Fest. Thank you so much. We will be there next Monday. All right. For more information on this year's Carmel Fest, just head over to fox59.com slash 